Member for Port Morico, Kirtland. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's inspiring to me when I see young people step forward to make a difference. And there is one particular group of young people that I'd like to talk about today, and that's Ms. Leslie's grade 12 social justice class at Dr. Charles Best Secondary School. Ms. Leslie describes the nature of her class as not only educating students about inequities in our society, but empowering them to advocate for change. She says, I want my students to know that they have a voice, that it matters, and that people will listen. Indeed, they do have a voice, and it is being heard. I first became aware of their social justice efforts when I was copied on a letter writing campaign to change the name of the Patella Bridge. The class also embarked on the Red Dress Project to create dialogue around the issue of murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls. The dresses are red because it's believed that that's the only color that can be seen in the spirit world so that the missing can find their way back. The class collaborated with another teacher, Amanda Roberts, at Port Moody Secondary School, and many businesses and MLA offices, including my own, displayed red dresses last week. The class's efforts were covered by the media as far away as Ottawa, and Judge Buller even reached out to congratulate them on their efforts. Providing cell coverage along the Highway of Tears is just one step we are taking to address this issue. As one student in the class, Naveed, expressed, the young people the next generation demand change. And to Naveed, I say change is possible. And you are part of the change. So I want to thank you and your class and your teacher for being champions for these very important issues. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.